world laughs in my face They say you can't get nowhere Chasing my dreams still In the same room as an infant My vision's so distant Turn paper do, but I got no pieces ah, Torn into pieces I'll be back next weekend Uh, so you guys have tuned in to our last episode, and this episode is actually about uh, creativity in the Somali world. And we have a guest. We do. Yes. A special guest. A special guest. Extremely special. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. I feel special. Thank you, brother <laughs> man. Thank not you, another you, man. You. you guys have made me feel special. Thank you. Uh, you made us yes. feel special by your presence. Yeah. Uh, so. uh, this is uh, Komi Olaf, a.k.a. Poetic Speed, uh, one of my literary heroes. In life, uh, I've done uh, spoken word for quite some time. Not not too much, a little bit here and there. But this is this is the man that actually taught me not to be scared on stage, and taught me that um, I mean, whatever you feel, just get it out there and just you know do it vigorously. Don't don't be shy about it. And uh, how do we meet? Do you remember? Yeah, man. Yo, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we met uh, outside Carlton. Mm -hmm. We met outside Carlton University. We we're chilling and. Uh, there was a show upstairs. Oh, I can interrupt you one second. Yeah, sorry. Inter uh, uh, I'll interrupt you one second. I have to interrupt. I have to interrupt. I have to interrupt. People, uh, like, there was a, you know, a headline that said, high school dropouts, I'm a university dropout. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Word to the haters. Oh my God, I know exactly. What you're you're guy. All right, so yeah, continue, man. my friend. Ask Kanye, man. Ask Kanye. Oh yeah, college yeah, dropout. Man. Did Come the nigga on, wonders, man. bro. The shade yeah, that was man. thrown at us. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll touch on. We'll talk about that later on uh, in, the, in the episode. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're out. We're outside. We're outside Carlton, and uh, there was something going on upstairs. There was a poetry show at Roosters. Right? At Roosters, mm -hmm. man. At Roosters, and we're like, yo, come true, come true, and then. That's how we became friends, man. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how did you get wait. started, Kobe? So, what do you do? No, 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 no. Wait, let's get into detail. Yeah, how did we become yeah, friends? Yeah. That's, that's so ambiguous. Oh, I'm, that's so I ambiguous. ambiguous. I smoke cigarettes, all right, guys. Okay. I was having a cigarette outside. So does he. You know, yeah, yeah. Man, we're trying to be good for the camera, but it's so, so good, man. Okay. So, 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 check it. So, check it. So, check it. No, no. Come on, goddammit. It's all good, man. Okay, check it. So, I was having a cigarette outside. My brother, man, not another man, came up and he was like, yo, let me get a cigarette. And I got to get the, jigger, the, the jitters out. Smoke I'm like, what do you got to get the jitters out for? Like, I'm performing uh, spoken word upstairs at Roosters. I'm like, shit. I just watched Black Ice last night for the first time. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> you see, this is why this is why he is a storyteller. Man. He can tell the story in detail, <laughs> detail, detail man. Ice. It comes to What's life, man. Yeah, no, no, black eyes. No, black eyes is, 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 is uh, a death poetry. Death poetry. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a spoken word uh, artist. Sorry, from do you say death or death? Death poetry. Death, death poetry. First of all, jam. death, death poetry. like like the goal, like like, like, like death. No, death. Okay, first okay. of all, like first of all, I've been working with you for quite some time. Okay, I'm a little upset that you don't know death poetry. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're not grasping what's going on around I these am, parts. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. All right, so. Continue, I just, I'm all clarifying right, for right, everybody right. else. So Not deaf poetry, me. yes, Black Eyes. Whoever's listening, you are the target demographic and you know who Black Eyes is, hopefully. If you don't, then that's your fault. Anyway, so. It's a hard pill to swallow when the laws you follow are enforced on land your ancestors were wrongfully mounted on. And the very principles this country's founded on can't be counted on in time of crisis and confusion. What an illusion they've pulled off on us, misused and lost our trust too many times. But ain't too many rhymes been written about this, so I'm pissed because for some odd reason we feel like it's better that less is said. But for God's sakes, niggas, they left us for dead, dying. And there's no denying them fathers crying with their family sidewalk written. What was so cleverly hidden is now in plain vision for all to see. We want y'all to see how this country does its poor and downtrodden. This is an instance that must not be forgotten this for keeps. Long after the media sweeps, political name calling and lying, cinematography to desensitize the eyes so we don't cry no more when we see people dying in despair. We don't care. 
we just changed the station. We live in a nation where the poor have nothing but time to spend, so we left waiting, tailgating floodwaters outside the Superdome. Home no more, show no more love than some of them third world countries we take over. This the real rape over. And this ain't young boy frustrated emotion, this is grown man rationale. Hard to admit my national, I don't give a fuck about its own, but the evidence is clear, we could stack it up. Kanye made a statement, Ice here to back it up. It's true, we live in a beautiful world, but ugly souls push the buttons, the gluttons of society. Top priority, making sure the rich folk stay rich folk. Pitch folk type thinking. New Orleans been sinking. This ain't a new issue. The ninth ward been the tissue that the city wipes his ass with. Like in the past with the first flood, way before Bush contracted Halliburton to restore back the order, they used dead black bodies to try and hold back the water. Such disorder in a country that burns so much money. I'm telling you, you learn so much money when you just open up a book and look inside. That's where they hide the evidence. These fucked up presidents and their constituents pitch you against your own mind here. Fuck up your mind here, yeah. They got opportunities and jobs for the poor. It's called prison life and warfare, nigga. That's your share of the American pie. But you got to lie, steal, and cheat to get it. Step on somebody's feet to get it. And our toes have been swollen for so long. They do us so wrong, but we just stand there and take it. Nature rips the mask off, so now they can't fake it. We stand here butt naked, nigga. This is your nation's poor. But you still turn around and ask us for our kids for war. And them battalions from the bayou that don't know what they over there fighting for, what the fuck can you possibly say to them when they learn their parents died? Casualties of the war on poverty. Waiting for help outside of fucking stadium. I now know how you guys got introduced to each other. Uh, Bueller, how did how did you get into even doing poetry at uh, Carleton University? Well, uh, that's uh, it's a bit of a story. I'll tell you. It's um, I was on house arrest. Let's be <laughs> I didn't want to say All anything. Right, no. I was like, did you go there to take a nap? I was on house arrest. I was on house arrest. I was on house arrest. Okay. And, and, and I used to be one of those heavy readers for no reason. Like when I'm bored or whatever, like I'd go to chapters. Honestly, I'd go to chapters and I'd like read 20 pages of one book, 20 pages of another book, and pick which one I like. Mm. And the one I like always ended up being either extremely clever or some gangster shit. So then I never read poetry books. Mm. So I was at home, because I was on house arrest. <laughs> I was at home, and my sister is like my heart, you know, my soul. She's a true queen. And Not she... Mm. No, well, I plug in for my sister, man. Plug in. You know what I mean? So she, uh, she wanted to inspire me. I, I, I always had a passion for writing. I just didn't know how to go about it. Mm-hmm. So my sister, one day, she said, listen, just check this out. This is kind of inspirational. Show me black eyes. I never watched that poetry ever until my sister shined the light on it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I watched it, and I was like, damn, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And I'm one of those fast dudes. I'm like, Yo, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do a lot of things in one shot, but it's not one shot. So, But I, as soon as I did, as soon as I watched, as soon as I watched black eyes, that evening, mm-hmm. the next day, I was at school at Carlton, and I, I met the homie here, at Comey. But for the spoken word, is the first time I have a platform mm-hmm. that I can actually talk about something I care about. You know what I mean? Got it. And I saw this dude right here, and he was just all kinds of awesome. This guy just <laughs> like he showed me some things I I hadn't like this dudes in you know that go to, that I go to school with uh-huh. that can do these kind of things and spit the way they spit. Poetic speed, that's his name. Right. That's the moniker, right. you know what I mean? So he inspired me and I got I got you know, I was I was nervous to be on stage for the first time. Mm-hmm. This dude told me, oh, listen, I'll I'll perform with you on stage and we got what well, we got yeah, Ramon and Ikana. Yeah, Ikana open oh. secret plug plug to Ikana. Yeah, and Hive and Hive and Hive Gypsy's son. Hive Gypsy's son, aka Sergio, my main man. Holy you know what I mean? Yo, I think that was my first time too, yo. That was my first time at Carlton Black History Month. What are you kidding me? Yeah. Man. <laughs> Sick. So we went there and it was just, man, I was shook. The butterflies were crazy. I started on a crazy one. And yo, that's crazy, guy. Yo, you know what I just, sorry, sorry to interject, no, it's all man. Good, it's all good. But you know, you know how you talked about your sister mm-hmm. got you into like that and into all of that? Yeah. When I watched Black Guys the first time, mm-hmm. I wrote a poem about trying to quit smoking. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I heard that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I was trying, I was trying to quit smoking. And then I spit it for my sister in the car going to school. And she's like, yo, I'm organizing a show at Carlton because she was into like poetry and stuff at that time. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm organizing a show at Carlton called Conscious and just come through, be the opener, and then we'll just go from there. And that's the show, guys. So when we were going upstairs, when I was, when I was downstairs having yeah. a smoke with you, trying to figure it out, 
that's where I was going. So that was the first show, my first show too. Man. That's crazy. Man. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. That's crazy. your first time ever performing. That was my first time performing. Too, wow. Man. So you yeah, both met at yeah, the same man. time. That was your first time performing. Yeah. No, 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 no. He, I met him the first time he was performing, mm-hmm. and then I started bouncing the poems off him, mm-hmm. and and he told me, and this guy was my 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 like inspiration. He kept right. saying, "Yo, just keep doing it. Yo, you're getting better each each poem, like one mm-hmm. by one." Remember, I used to knock off poems 15 minutes at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You know what I mean? Boom, 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 boom. And then he's like, "Yo, let's perform together." So yeah. you, me, Ikenna, and uh, Hyph, Hi- Gypsy's Hi- son, yeah, AKA yeah, yeah. Sergio, my main yeah, man. man. What was and these poems, by the way, these poems are not like roses are red. This, no, when I hear no, poetry, African soldier. That's the name of the poem. Oh, that's the name of the Black History Month. African soldier. Can they find any of your material on YouTube? Like under what name? Facebook. Call me Olaf or Poetic Speed, any of those two. This is okay. So poetry on a whole nother level. Sorry, I don't have a creative bone. I believe that ideas exist as physical things floating in the air above us. You pick up your pen, your pencil, your notebook, your instrument, your trumpet, your harmonica, your camera, your guitar, but that first line, I mean that very first word that busts from your lips is only the beginning. The longer you wait, leaving that first line on that page, that first chord on the guitar, you were stalling, stagnant. Like anything in motion, the idea will find ways to break free from your spreadsheet. Wiggle its tail and keep moving. But if you believe it is right, you continue to write. Continue to put more words on the paper. More scratches of ink on the pad. Forget about spell check. The language of creation may not be in English. Bring it down. Bring it down with more lines. Bring it down with more words. Bring it down with more passion. Bring it down with more faith and smash it open on your canvas. It is there. Rage. Stop Bear. it. Say it. Say it. I don't. I am trying Give very hard. Listen. No. Angry. Hurt. <laughs> Trolling. Crybaby. Loser. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Upset. <laughs> and that's dedicated <laughs> to that. <laughs> you know exactly who you are. You. <laughs> you got a life. <laughs>